So there's many reasons why communication is such a, a key strategy for lessening risks and lessening risks of negatively, of stakeholders negatively affecting projects. Um, so a few of the main reasons is communication gains trust between two parties. So a lot of communication, one party is going to trust the other a lot more. If there's no communication, it, it becomes a bit tangled, it becomes a bit distant, there's no relationship gained or built up between the two parties. Um, and another, another reason is, is, is the efficiency of it. Obviously if everyone's talking to each other, it's going to become easier, everything's going to be done, things are going to be, the quality of, of the project's going to be higher. Um, yeah, so it's positive in that way. Uh, yeah, it keeps stakeholders informed and satisfied. The main point, it, another obvious point, it, it's just communication, isn't it? Um, and then rather obviously you can get something, someone to do something for you. Um, now there are obviously different forms of um, communication for different stakeholders. There's got to be, there's got to be a different frequency, there's got to be a different technique um, according to appropriateness of um, the stakeholder. So most of the time the, the message is going to be a similar kind of message to all stakeholders. But you're going to have to repurpose the material for different types of stakeholders. It's going to be a, to be a different delivery. There's no point in using legalistic jargon when you're just talking to a client because they're not really going to understand what you're talking about because they're going to be lost. They're not going to get the point. Um, so yeah, language is, a, is an important point there. You, you, you've got to choose your words carefully when you're repurposing the material appropriately to each part uh, stakeholder. Um, so yeah, and, and, and a new strategy that's coming more and more pre prevalent um, uh, in today's construction society is, is the internet, social media, um, and websites. It's becoming quite a, a strong way, quite a preferred way for some um, clients especially, of, and then users of um, finding out news updates on how the project's going, uh, especially on, on, on websites, it's good for delivering that kind of information to a mass audience. Um, so yeah, once well, a good a good strategy um, of keeping all of of keeping track of all of the stakeholders' um, uh, communication is a communication plan. Um, this plan you, you, I think is, is done on a, a weekly and monthly basis. So you fill it out on a weekly and monthly basis, and basically you you put who the um, communication is aimed at in the end, current awareness, what their awareness is at the moment what their awareness will be after the, what the communication has happened, so what they are for and after. Um, medium, so what, how are you communicating with the presentation, email, letter, whatever. Um, deliverables, accountable, who's, who's gonna be doing the communicating itself, and the date, the date most important is, is keeping track of um, what was said when. It's a good way of finding out if, if something was communicated, then you can find that in this uh, plan. So, going on to um, the first stakeholder, uh, where their communication strategy, uh, lessening their risk of negative um, effects on the, uh, on the project, uh, is the internal project manager. Um, so these are the, this is the project manager who's involved in the contract and um, project directly. Uh, so their communication strategy would be, I've got down here, all communication with a daily basis for the contractor. So for the contractor, they'll be talking, you know, how's the progress going? Is there any um, challenges that have come up? Are there any problems? Have we, is there a new risk that we've got to think about? Um, and then we've got oral and written, written communication with the external project manager. So the, this is the, um, the um, uh, project manager who bridges the gap between the client and the contractor. Um, yeah, they're going to, that, it'll be an oral conversation written up probably by an email to back it up or a letter back to back it up, so then they know they've got the points there. Uh, and finally, presentations, meetings um, for external, for internal, all the internal uh, stakeholders, just as a progress report really, how everything's going. 